So Wolves against Newcastle, the 101st meeting. Hopefully not a sixth one or draw in a row. You can never count against it. Here's a rain saves for Wang. Midway inside his own half. Kilman up towards halfway. Raul Jimenez. He's managed to climb over the top <laughs> of Longstaff and continues on. And now Wang into the penalty area. Yes! Low for yes! the goal. Beautiful. What a beautiful goal. He Chan Wang has his first at Molyneux. Beautiful finish. Brilliant work by Raul Jimenez to send him away. Slid it into his path, right hand side of the penalty area. And a sublime finish under the goalkeeper, rolling into the far corner. Wolves won, Newcastle nil. Well, that just comes from the determination of Jimenez, wasn't it? Winning that ball from a player, but a great little ball through to him. And what a finish. The timing of the run as well yeah. is just perfect, isn't it? I mean, he's beat the offside track perfectly, but Jimenez, resilience to back break through there. It was fantastic, great finish. And for the first time since Wolves played Chorley away in the FA Cup last season, we have scored in the opening 20 minutes of a game. Well, you can hear what it means to the fans, can't you? They just combined really well, didn't they, the two of them? A great little ball from Jimenez. We'll come back to it as Martinho plays it low across the centre circle for Saiz. Huang did well to slide in and keep hold of possession. Back in field. To Jean Martinho, left hand side of the centre circle, Ford's 10 yard pass to Jimenez, who turned and now flicks it for Trincao. It's Huang looking for Jimenez again. Oh, he could have played into the path of Semedo, chose to work it back instead. And Martinho lining one up, not a bad effort. Forced a flying save from Darlow to his left hand side. Wolves didn't have a single shot from outside the penalty area at Southampton last week. That's a couple at least in the last couple of minutes here. Yeah, so it's a good play. Just watching him as a, him and as just spinning round. It's a good strike from target as well. Comfortable for the keeper in the end though, but I'd, I'd rather see that. I'd rather see us having an attempt. You never know with the way that things are. Bodies in front, deflections. Blocked off by Neves, out to the right hand side to Hayden. Back in field, it goes to Longstaff. Middle of the Wolves half, Neves closing in. Taken on by Clark, and then Martinho and Neves both slid in. And Wolves now might try and launch a counter. Neves releasing Wang. Wang up left hand side of the penalty area. Men arriving. It's going to come all the way through to Trinko. Oh! Off the other side of the crossbar. The look, referee looks towards the watch. No goal. Didn't cross the line. Oh, you've got to score. You've got to score. Oh, great setup. Neves midway inside the Newcastle half. Get the thoughts of Claire Hakeman and Andy Thompson in just a moment as Neves turns and works it towards Kilman back in field to Ruben Neves looking up for an option Marcel is the making them run in the penalty area Hayden tracked him and back heads it to Mankio well, Wolves had the options in the penalty area that time yeah they did and it was a good strike from him but you've got to score you can't miss an opportunity like that Kilman getting the better of Joe Linton at the other end. Here's Trinkau, loses possession to Kieran Clark. And stays down and Sam Maximum trying to dribble through the middle. Sam Maximum up towards the edge of the penalty area. Now feeding on towards Joe Linton. Jose Saar really brave and he's been hauled there and he stayed down. And referee needs to stop things. Jose Saar has picked himself up. Hendrick to strike it and it's in and Newcastle have got themselves an equaliser and Graham Scott didn't stop play when Jose Saar was down injured and he tried to pick himself up 
Graeme Scott saw it and allowed Newcastle to play on and Jeff Hendrick has equalised and Wolves bench are absolutely furious. Yeah, I would as well. If you keep us down, you know that that's something the referee should be shouting at. As soon as he saw that, he can't allow play to carry on with the keeper in. He's holding his neck. I think he's the principal. If I'm looking from the ref's perspective, the, the keeper's down, holding his neck, not in the goal. Like, what do you want him to do? Well, you know how protective they are of goalkeepers anyway. Not this time. He's down, he's out the penalty. Oh. Well, surely VAR is going to look at this and potentially rule it out for the foul on Jose Sarr in the build -up. I do wonder, because he got back up, is that going to affect that? Because he got back up and then tried last minute to do something about it, maybe they're going to say, you know, he was OK. It's a highly controversial moment. And officially, it's Wolves 1, Newcastle 1. Well, it's an unwritten rule, isn't it? When a keeper's down, the referee blows the whistle. I can understand why Newcastle played on, but equally, the ref's in charge of the game. And, you know, could he have called it before it came to this? Despite not having what you would call an out-and-out -out number nine, they're all committing men forwards, Newcastle. They're doing so again because Ritchie down the line for Joe Linton and Wolves have gone to sleep for a second. And that's a dangerous cross and it's going to bounce and that's a massive okay. save by Jose Sarr to deny Sam Maximum from close range. Sam Maximum still has it up against Semedo. His cross knocks the face of Max Kilman and sends him stumbling to the ground. And this time the referee is sharp to pause the game to allow a bit of treatment. What a save that is. What a save from Sarr. Because I'll tell you what, he's like instant straight away in front of it. Neves for Semedo. Infield to Neves again. Back to halfway to Kilman. See, for me, we've got to try and get people in their pockets there and get the ball to them. You can see Huang desperately trying to find these little pockets of space that we were finding easily in the first half. Neves controls on the chest on halfway to Jimenez. Nice turn from Raul Jimenez. Skips away from a challenge. Onto Huang. Huang into the penalty on his left foot. Yes! He's done it again! He Chan Huang! What a finish! What a game he is having! The South Korean strikes in front of the South Bank and restores Wolves' lead. And it's almost a carbon copy of the first goal. Jimenez releasing him. The first one was with his right foot. This one with his left. Same result. Finding the bottom corner. Wolves 2, Newcastle 1. Again, that's all about Jimenez, wasn't it? Good turn just inside the Newcastle half. Oh, what a good delivery, but great finish. It's almost identical to the first half. Yeah. The resilience that Jimenez is showing, he hasn't gone down easily, he's been nailed twice. Great ball through, and what a finish. He did not look like missing, did he? No, but the keeper's just desperate that he doesn't get beat on his near post. And I think, if anything, he's probably come across, made the goal big for Wang there, but a great finish. And Wolves have found themselves a finisher. There we go. We've been calling out for one. Twang and he's left Hayden for dead. Driving down the left hand side, whipping across in. It was only him and Ed sliding in. He couldn't quite connect. And there's the final whistle. Wolves have finally got themselves a Premier League victory at Molyneux under Bruno Lars. They had to do it the hard way. He Chan Huang's goal in the first half, superbly set up by Raul Jimenez after 20 minutes gave them the lead. Newcastle equalised in controversial circumstances when Jose Sarr seemed to have been fouled in the build-up. He picked himself up only to see Jeff Hendrick's shot flash past him into the bottom corner four minutes before the break. But again, that Jimenez-Wang combination, this time on his left foot, Wang rolling it into the far corner in front of a delighted South Bank, and Wolves get themselves the victory. Wolves 2, Newcastle 1.